Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And uh, I'm kind of always in the pursuit of different kneeling pad options. Um, I did a video on these a while ago. Um, I actually got two of them. They're small little kneeling pads. You can get large ones, small ones. I thought it'd be easy to just have two and I could just move my knees around. Yeah, you can. Um, it does work. Um, but I also was looking for a different kind of a pad. I've been using the snap on one, but notice, Caution, do not stand on mat when placed on wet surface. Um, well, a lot of times I'm using something like this, I'm on a wet surface. That's just the way it is, you know, plumbing or whatever. And this thing is a hockey puck. This is amazingly slippery. Um, I just, I don't know why they don't get rid of that and redesign it. In fact, they make great big ones of these. But what I needed was something um, simple, easy to fit into a little tool, tool carry, and it gave me some options as far as knee pads, um, obviously, or kneeling. I could wear knee pads. Sometimes they're a hassle. Sometimes they're hot. Sometimes they don't work as well as you'd think. But I also wanted something for uh, elbows or hips or anything else, you know, if I'm reaching under, uh, you know, or working on something and, and I just want some padding. So I decided to look outside the tool world and came up with this. This is called a, a foam hiking seat by Red Camp. It's a simple little design. Um, that is about 13 bucks. This is a highly reflective, kind of aluminum colored side. And then this comes in different colors. Um, at about $13, actually less, uh, I thought this is a great solution, similar in price to maybe one of these, but I can use it for other stuff as well. Obviously I could take it hunting or something and you know sit on the ground with it. Um, but what it is, is kind of the, that, that, um, similar to like the Thermarest z Light or Z-Fold or whatever they call it that's uh, uh, in sleeping pads. It folds up. You can see that the, the holes come together so it actually gets a little smaller than its total thickness. And um, I can use it, you know, one super thick knee pad or two close together or I can go out further and then this is wider actually than the snap-on one here. And your knees are like tires. I mean, they're, they might be big but they only hit encounter. Um, the ground in one spot. Um, and then I can go even larger or I could fold it over, you know, into this size. So it's got a lot of potential, plus it can easily go outside the, the tool space and into um, other activities, even a boat seat um, or canoe seat or something. And uh, not that expensive, so I could look at it as somewhat disposable. Um, overall, for about 13 bucks, uh, I'm pleased. Tried it a couple of times just artificially to see, and it, it works fine. Um, this is a, you know, it's pretty squishy. Um, this is, um, or these are closed cell foam, um, which means they don't absorb water. Same here, but this thing is really slippery. Um, the, the ones that absorb water, like the, the, um, kind of the yellowish colored ones, those can, they just turn into sponges. Obviously this doesn't absorb any water. Um, and because uh, it's, it, it folds into so many different ways, there's lots more toolbox storage options. Um, sometimes I'm able to slide this into something, sometimes not. That's why I went with these little guys. But overall, uh, it's, a, it's a decent solution if you are like me at all and constantly in search of, of kneeling options that don't you know, take up a huge amount of space. Anyway, uh, there's a link below if you're interested. It comes in a couple different colors. And with that, Doc out.